Raising dreams, illusions, coincidences. No, they're not coincidences. That is what I'm trying to tell you. There is a pattern, a meaning. What's the meaning? I'm the mother, damn it! I'm the father. I know that that baby is alive. You, uh, I was wondering if you could help me. What do you want? When I was a little girl, I used to live on this street. I used to play in this house. So? Well, I was wondering if it wouldn't be an inconvenience. Uh, I have so many memories tied up in this house. I was just wondering if maybe I could come in for a minute. Come in. Thank you. Come in. I'm, I'm sorry I was so suspicious, but you never can tell nowadays. Actually, it's nice to have a visitor. Since my husband passed away, I, I don't go out much. W would you like a nice cup of chamomile tea? N no, thank you. I wonder if I could just look around for a little while. Why, yes, of course. I won't be long. Take your time. It is a wonderful old house. Sometimes it creaks a little. My husband used to call it living sounds. Oh, this house has seen a lot of living. Babies born, young people courting, old people dying. Well, it's, it's too large for me now that my husband passed away. We were not fortunate enough to have any children. So I live most of the time here alone. Do you think it would be all right if I just looked around upstairs for a minute? Why, well, yes, dear, of course. Thank you. This way.
Excuse me, I, uh, I, I can't stay any longer. Thank you for letting me stay. Oh, wouldn't you like a cup of tea? No, I think... My hand just shook. I couldn't have opened that door if I had tried. What did you feel at that moment, Jeannie? Well, I... Uh, I felt fear. Overwhelming fear. And, um... And? I, uh... I felt shame. Guilt. All that centered on a closet in a house you haven't been inside for over 20 years. I know it has something to do with my baby. Really? Or perhaps it's nothing more than a symbol. A symbol of something you don't want to look at. Things you'd rather leave hidden. Look, at, I can't just dismiss this as something that is lurking in my past. Well, what do you think it is, Jeannie? A psychic vision? Your child reaching out from beyond death? I don't know. I just feel that that girl is not dead. I just feel that. Well, a feeling that strong can seduce you into accepting it as a fact, Jeannie. You know, you're allowing the present to clutter up our search into the past. What about the photograph? What about the clock? Well, what about them? You wrote the dreams, Jeannie. You wanted affirmation, Jeannie. Your unconscious provided it, Jeannie. You want me to bury my child? Well, I can't. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead and run again. Sure, that's exactly what you need to do. And I want to tell you that there's only one child I'm interested in, Jeannie, and that child is the child you once were. Did she die? Was she outgrown? Cast aside along with all your old toys? Was she abandoned? Was she lost somewhere in time? Eventually forgotten? Or... is she... Waiting there in your dreams, waiting for you, Jeannie.
Feeling better? Yeah. Good. You want to go over it again? You have to. Well, there's something about those two children playing in the water. Oh, I don't know about them. There's a good reason to start right there, huh? Oh, you're so clever. The children seem to have some uh, sexual significance. Oh, I see. Well, what do you see? Nothing. I see nothing. Yes, but you said there was a kind of an innocent sweetness about them, didn't you? Yes. Yet you felt the same emotions you experienced when trying to open that closet door. Panic, guilt, shame. Can you tell me what that has to do with sex? Well, it has a great deal to do with why you might have turned away from it, young lady. Oh, so now we're talking to my husband. I didn't have. All the signs were there. All the signs. Frigid wife, suffering from hysterical symptoms. No, but a wife can be a hoarder of secret sexual grievances. Unless perhaps you're simply on strike. Against what? You tell me. I don't even know what you were talking about. Jeannie, don't you think your husband is having an affair? Don't you? You're not suspicious. You don't make phone calls to the station to check up on him. Yes. What has that got to do with my dreams? You just keep twisting things around. You keep trying to accuse me of being guilty, of being ashamed. You already felt that way when you came to me, Jeannie. You are just like him, but you are not all-powerful. And I am not possessed. I'm a normal 29-year-old woman, and I am experiencing something that you will never understand. The psychic bond between mother and child. Yes, you take a thousand penguins and you put them on a rookery, and that mother penguin goes right to her young. Now, you explain that. <laughs> Oh, come on. Just because all penguins look alike to you, it doesn't mean they have to look alike to each other, does it? Oh, you are so smug, I just hate that. No. What you hate are facts. The water, the clock, drowning. They're all facts. Disguised as symbols. Oh, you're the doctor. We have to believe that, don't we? Well, I've got 20 years of clinical evidence to back me up. What have you got? I've got a feeling. And it's not clinical. Well, you're not very talkative. There's not much to say. How'd it go today? Doctor? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're falling apart. Are we? We're not the same girl. Well, maybe you're just working too many nights.